Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will show you how to create uh, and configure a push notification template. Uh, push notification templates is a feature of Backendless where you can configure the content and the look and feel of your push notifications, S uh, save it in a template, and then send out push notifications to the users uh, targeted with that template with a single line of code. Uh, to get started, we will switch to the messaging screen uh, in Backendless Console, and here you need to select Push Notifications. The screen starts uh, by default with a section called Compose Push, and that's where you start configuring your Push Notification Template. Once you save it, and all saved templates are going to be available under Push Templates at this point, this is a new app, we don't have any Push Templates, so let's uh, start configuring a Push Notification Template. In here, uh, a Push Notification consists of uh, three visual elements as far as the textual representation of it. There is a message, title, and subtitle. And as you start editing it, you'll see a preview of what it looks like for Android and what it looks like for iOS just by selecting the Android, iOS, or Mac OS uh, selector right here. So th the most basic one we could just say, uh, for instance, thank you for registering with our app. There you go. So as you can see, the text shows up right here. Uh, the title could say welcome, subtitle also says welcome, or we could just say hello, it doesn't really matter. You will configure it uh, according to your liking. Uh, additionally, there is a support for smart text, and this is uh, there to enable personalization where you could inject a user's name or any other specific properties of the users that the push notification goes out to. We'll keep it simple for now. Uh, the, s the second step is the who section, and in here you can specify who will be receiving that push notification, and it could be all the users uh, in a particular messaging channel, or you can segment those users and identify a where clause or a condition that uh, will be used to identify the users that the push notification will go out to. To keep it simple, once again, for the demo purposes, we'll just use channel. The third option is the options uh, section, and in here you have a bunch of visual, uh, a bunch of controls that are responsible for the visualization of your push notification. So here you can select the badge icon type, uh, which is uh, well not displayed here, but once you get the push notifications, you'll see uh, what it looks like. Uh, uh, once again, various icons, uh, image, colors, you can configure the buttons, like for instance, if you have the reply to or a knowledge or whatever, the buttons could say for the push notification. Uh, to see what they mean, go into our documentation. They're all described in detail. There is also a webinar recorded in our uh, YouTube channel that you can uh, see uh, to understand what each individual option does. And then here, once again, you can configure it for Android, you can configure it for iOS, because uh, the visualization options are different between the operating systems. Finally, uh, when you get to the save section here, you can save this template and the name that you use in here, the template name, becomes important because when you use API to send out the push notification according to this template, you will be referencing it by name. So here, uh, let's call this push notification template push mission. Click save. It is saved and now if we go to push templates, you see this push mission template right here. You can go back to editing this template by clicking the edit icon and it goes back right into editing this uh, push notification template. At this point I don't have any registered devices so uh, going into uh, this template, uh, if I were to send it out now, a push notification, there are no devices to receive it uh, but that will be shown in another video. For now I just wanted to focus specifically on how to create and save a push notification template. Thank you for watching this video and as always, happy coding!